Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Swain, and I'm going to read you a story. The title is Roof Octopus, and the author is Lucy Branham, illustrated by Rogerio Coelho. Synopsis. When Nora hears a soft tap, tap, tap at her bedroom window, she never expects it to be the tentacle of a very large octopus. It started with a tap at the window that woke Nora up. Out she looked, and there it sat, an octopus on her apartment building. A big one. She rushed from her room and went to tell her parents. In the kitchen, her father was making waffles, and her mother was pulling out the breakfast plates. Her baby sister sat in her high chair. She was pointing out the window. Nora cleared her throat. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's an octopus on our apartment. Her father stopped pouring batter and looked out the window. An octopus on our apartment? Her mother looked out too. I don't see anything. Then a tentacle dropped down from above and wrapped itself around the fire escape railing. See, Nora said, there's an octopus out there. And there's the tentacle. Her family and neighbors quickly gathered outside for a better look. Everyone started talking at once. Would you look at that? Wow. It's blocking my whole view. Nora's mother said, I wonder if it's lost. It might be part of a migration, her father said. Hmm. I think someone needs to call the Coast Guard about this, said Mr. Dodson. Nora said nothing. She only waved at the octopus and it waved back. If we ignore it, maybe it will go away, suggested the landlord. So they all went on to work in school and tried not to make eye contact with it. Hmm, as big as that octopus is, it's pretty hard not to make eye contact, wouldn't you think? <laughs> Let's read on. But the octopus stayed there all day and through the night, too. The next day, Mr. Dodson was washing his car. The octopus reached out a long, strong tentacle, took a soggy sponge, and helped him, which was a very nice thing for it to do. It seems like a neighborly sort of octopus, said the landlord with a shrug, and the octopus was. <laughs> so here he is with his tentacle, with a sponge and one tentacle, washing the car. How nice. It pulled weeds from the boxes. It walked a McIntyre's dog. It helped the man ma mailman deliver mail. And it carried Mr. and Mrs. Carmen up to their fourth story room. Hmm, very helpful, this octopus. It held the door open for Nora's parents when their arms were full of groceries. And once or twice, it rocked her baby sister to sleep. But what it liked to do best of all was be a swing for Nora and her friends. And here they are. What fun. I like you, Nora told the octopus one evening when it came to wish her good night. Would you come to school for show and tell sometime this Friday? The octopus slipped the tentacle into the room. Nora shook it. It's a deal. Then she said, the octopus slipped his tentacle back out and shut her window for the night. When Nora woke up, the octopus was gone. Hmm. Can you guess where it went, boys and girls? All right, let's make a prediction. Let's read on and find out if you're correct. I'm sorry, honey, said Nora's mother. It probably found its way home. Might be back next year, though, with another migration, Nora's father suggested. It's moved on to bigger and better things, I reckon, said the landlord. I'm going to miss it terribly all the same. 
Hmm. Nora said nothing and went on to school that day. And the next one, and the next one, and nothing remarkable happened at all. Until Friday, while Nora was doing her math, there was a tap at the window. Out she looked, and there it sat, the octopus on her school. <laughs> so he kept his promise, boys and girls. Did you guess that? Well, if you did, you are absolutely correct. All right, and that's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. So what your assignment is going to be is to draw me a picture of your favorite part of the story. And also, I want you to do a public speaking part. So remember our chart? Just give, for example, hello, my name is Mrs. Swain, and I'm going to tell you about my favorite part of the story of Roof Octopus. My favorite part of this story is when the octopus tapped on Nora's window and she asked if he could come to her school and they shook hands and it was a deal. But when she woke up that morning, octopus wasn't there. So she went to school that day. She, she went to school the next day. And it wasn't until Friday when she went to school that there was a tap on the school window. And guess who was up top? It was the roof octopus. Thank you for listening. All right. Record yourself and upload that onto Seesaw. And I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.